Today we are going to make pemmican. It's a word that originated from one of the Native American tribes. But as a food, it has very, very ancient origins and um, fat and meat have been mixed together for years and years as a staple travel food. To make pemmican, it can be as simple as using fat and dried meat. Tallow is used because it keeps for a very, very long time, and it also solidifies. Traditionally, it would have been done with buffalo or elk or deer. What I have here is some beef, and often dried fruit was added, so I've chosen blueberries. I've always been fascinated with the fact that if you cook meat and leave it out, it rots. But if you dry it, dried meat alone will store for a very, very long time. When you dry your meat, you want it to be crispy. You want all the moisture to be taken out of it. So you can see how easily that just breaks up. So I'm going to set this in some water to begin to soften up a little bit more. So I'm going to grind the meat. And it's okay to have some larger bits, but I'm going to try to make this as fine as possible. Pemmican became a very important product of trade in this country as explorers moved northward and they couldn't carry all of the food that they needed. And it actually was so important that um, there were wars fought over it. And I have already ground the blueberries, so I'm going to add those. I'm going to mix the blueberries and the meat together. So as soon as the fat is melted, we will add that a little bit at a time. It's such a rich source of energy with the protein from the meat and the fat. It's a very, very high energy food that keeps well, and you can live on it for a long time. So I've melted the tallow, and although my measuring cup is quite hot, the tallow itself is just warm. And I want it to be cool enough that I can stick my finger in it and it's not going to burn. And I'm going to add the tallow a little bit at a time and stir it into the meat. The goal being that all these ground up bits of fruit and meat will absorb the fat. And I'm only going to put enough in there to stick it together. So you can see as it cools that it's starting to get stiffer. And then I'm going to lay these on a tray. Oh, look at that. That's a nice little, I'm going to make little patties there. So I've, the meat and the berries are already dry, so all we need is for the fat to solidify. So I'm going to make these into these little balls, and I'm going to put them in a jar when they're cool, and I will most likely keep them in the refrigerator if they last that long.